Waking up early in the morning was not my favorite thing, but by the end of the day, I realized it was worth it. Cimalon Islands was one of the most beautiful experiences I've had in my life. And the tour really wasn't that bad. We started off with breakfast and they had a huge buffet. It wasn't the best breakfast, but it definitely wasn't the worst. And our tour guide met us by this map and explained to us where we were gonna be, what we were going to do, and a little bit about the Cimalon Islands. With the excitement of going to a new place, I happily put my shoes in this basket, not really knowing when I was going to see them next. And I'm being real, like I literally didn't see them that whole trip. Then we headed over to our boat. <laughs> That's not it, <laughs> JK. <laughs> we headed over to our speed boat because I felt like with that other boat, it would have definitely taken us twice as long to get to the islands, which was a little packed, but we actually made it to the islands in about an hour. So in that hour actually was really quick. I was really surprised at how quick that was. As we arrived, I immediately noticed how beautiful these islands were, and some of them actually looked like sea turtles, like this one right here. Actually, you can't really see it yet, but once I get to the right angle, there you go, you see it? You got the head, the arms, the shell, and here's another angle, there you go. You can kind of see the turtle shape. Uh, you know, it might be a stretch, but to me it looks like a turtle, okay? just Now these islands are actually made up of nine different islands, and some are actually, probably will be considered keys instead of islands, but I'll let them have it. As we approached our destination, we started to get ready to go snorkeling. <laughs> Our first stop was a snorkeling stop and I was excited because we were the only boat in the area so we were able to explore as much as we could without having to worry about other obnoxious tours. As we continued to the next island for lunch, I sat there amazed at the continuous and seemingly never-ending beauty that is the Similan Islands. Before we got off our boat, our tour guide warned us that we will be having the quote-unquote national parks food, so we shouldn't be expecting anything special for lunch. I personally was expecting burgers and soggy french fries like in the States, and I tried not to keep my hopes up about the lunch that we were about to have. Instead, I kept focus on the beautiful beaches that were right in front of us. Very hungry from our hour of snorkeling, we quickly headed up the trail to the cafeteria. It might not be that good, but it smells really good in here. So, I don't know. I don't know what that was about, but look. Like, National Park food, which apparently isn't that good, but I have a feeling because it's Thailand, it's actually going to be really delicious. Don't look at my face. Don't look at my face. This is the, the food they're talking about. This, this looks bomb. For park food, this looks amazing. I think this is for the soup. They're going to give me some soup over there. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the national park food that they were talking about. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> like, you would never get this stuff in the States. Come on. Like, there's not only more than enough food for you to eat, but it was, like, mostly seafood. Come on now. Like, 
the rest of the world needs to get on this because this is really the best national park food that I have ever had. So y'all know I'm always up for an adventure. And actually before this tour, a local recommended to me that I had to do the hike to the secret beach. So me and now my really good friend headed to the secret beach because I was like, look, we're only here once, okay? We got to take advantage of this. The other beach was nice, but it was overly crowded. So we decided to just head to the beach and see what it was about. And trust me when I say it was worth the adventure. We did have to hike barefoot, but they actually cleaned the trail enough, so there's not really an issue. This is so beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yes. We got a whole beach to ourselves. So we only had about 30 minutes at this beach, but when I say it was worth it, look, if you do this tour, you have got to hike to this secret beach. It's amazing. And just, um, and look at the water, look at the water. But after 30 minutes, we gotta say bye and head back to our boat for the next destination. Bye bye paradise. Man. So this next island would be island three out of four. And this was a very beautiful island because here we would be able to hike up to a cliff to see most of the Similana Islands. As we approached the next island, our tour guide gave us a heads up that there is a foundation of rocks that actually looks like a chicken. And I think nobody saw this. If y'all can see this, please let me know. Comment below if you saw the chicken. I don't really see it, but I'll give it to you. You know, I saw a turtle on the other one, so I'm gonna give him the chicken. But this was our next scuba diving spot, and it was ooh, beautiful. But our tour guide let us know that we can't stray too far away from the rocks, or else we will be swept out by the current. This gets really strong. All right, the current. Stay within the bay here. I think a lot of us did not understand. As you can see here, we are rescuing the people who got swept away by the current. This included a bunch of Thai grandmas and the kids, I don't know, the kids, they did not get swept up only because they were screaming and crying <laughs> to get back on the boat. After we headed to the fourth and final island where they said there was a peak that we could hike up and see the view of the Samoan Islands. Apparently this is the thing to do on this island. A lot of people highly suggest not to miss it. So if you are on this tour, make sure to hike up to the top of that boulder. This is the entrance to the trail. And as you get to the top, again, you don't have shoes, so you are hiking barefoot, but they clean the trails enough that this is not an issue. So if you're worried about your feet getting poked or whatever, don't worry about it. It's, it's completely worth it, but also that won't happen. But as you go to the top of the boulders, you can see my feet are pretty, whew, rough but it's not really that bad of a hike it actually only took us about 15 minutes to get to the top boulder and as you can see the view is completely worth it i mean look at that it's just, it's gorgeous it's gorgeous i think it's completely worth it i did know some people who didn't hike up here but look come on this is something that is is just breathtaking and i think it's an absolute must do if you come to Simulan island So after the hike, we headed to the beach, and then about five minutes later, we had to head back on our boat and head back to the port. Hey y'all, so I'm gonna be honest, I'm doing this like hella ghetto today because I don't really have a lot of time to talk. But this week, I will be doing the giveaway and I will be announcing what I'm giving away on my Instagram. So if you are interested in the giveaway, again, to be part of the giveaway and possibly get this prize, you just need to subscribe to my YouTube channel and then you have to follow me on Instagram and comment below on the post for the giveaway for this month, okay? Again, I'm doing the giveaway for a full year now. So even if you don't get it this month, you have like I think 10 other opportunities to possibly get a gift from a different country so please do not hesitate to subscribe like or share this video and I hope you guys enjoyed the video about Similan Islands this is definitely like a must go I, I want to go back <laughs>
and it's a must do in Thailand. So anyway, thank y'all for watching and I'll see y'all later. Peace.